I got a request to do a review on My Bloody Valentine, the original, so that's what I'm be doing. I actually, um, about a couple weeks ago, I picked up the Scream Factory edition of My Bloody Valentine. If you haven't picked it up, you really should. It's a great release. They have the complete, like, uncut. They kind of put, them to get, put it together, like, all the uncut stuff. And then I have this, um, case, too. I changed, I just changed it around, and the release I got, it came with, um, two posters, too, which are on the wall, um, so basically, this slip cover, it came with this slip cover and another slip cover, but I kept this slip cover on, just because I like this one a little bit more, they're both cool, but I just like this one a little bit more, um, like I said, you should really pick this up, though, just because, um, they did release... My Bloody Valentine on Blu-ray a couple years ago, but it's like, it, for some reason, it ended up being really expensive. So I'm glad Scream Factory decided to put this out because it's at an affordable price now. But if you're not familiar with My Bloody Valentine, it is probably one of the best, like, holiday-themed slasher. It's so, like, gruesome, too, compared to, like, the other slashers. For some reason, there's a glare. I'm just going to pull this up. Um, it's just very gruesome compared to the other ones. Like I said, they, they did do, um, like, the uncut. There, Well, there's two versions uh, on here. There's the theatrical version and the uncut version. But honestly, I'm going to be watching the uncut version, not the theatrical version. Because sometimes you see stuff that you haven't seen before. And let me tell you, that this uncut version is amazing. Like, definitely amazing. If you, if you, um, have this, you know what I'm talking about. It's just great seeing all these deaths uncut and everything i remember one of my favorite deaths in this film too is um i forget the old lady's name but um at the laundromat her body in the freaking dryer i just thought that was it always sticks in my mind every time i see that and then the death with um going through the mouth the pickaxe and i don't know it's just just great do I I'm not a big fan of the remake though a lot of people like the remake I personally don't really like it I like this this original one that's basically it um I don't know it's just this is one that I'm surprised I haven't reviewed yet because I reviewed I remember I, re I reviewed Valentine but I haven't reviewed my bloody Valentine because sometimes I um not sure if I reviewed stuff because I reviewed so many movies on this channel I kind of go back and see what I reviewed and what I haven't reviewed, and I looked and I haven't reviewed this movie before, so I'm like, definitely got to review it. I'm surprised I haven't because I just recently got this Blu-ray. Um, it's, I'm not going to say much because there is like a twist at the end, but uh, I love the look of the killer, the fact that they're wearing a coal miner outfit, which is the theme of the movie. It's coal mine. It's a coal mining community. All most of the guys in this are coal miners and everybody's just getting picked off one by one and the killer's sending like um like a Valentine's Day like chocolate box, but there's no chocolates inside the box. It's a heart and I I like the whole like the whole uh like Valentine thing. He um set, like he does like the rhyming thing and then sends the heart in the box. I just, this is just a fun, really fun movie. Is it in my fa favorite 80s horror films? No, but it's definitely in, like, my top, like, 20. It's not in my top 10, but it's definitely in my top 20. Some people might be like, why is it not in your top 10? I just personally, it's not my all-time favorite, but I'm just glad I finally own this. I, I mean, I've owned it before on DVD, but it's not the same. I like upgrading to the Blu-ray, and I'm a big Scream Factory fan, so this is this is definitely a must pick up. Also, um there's two other pe um releases Pet Cemetery. That, well, they are they just released the one and I got that as Pet Cemetery 2. I had to get that on Blu-ray. So I don't think they ever released that on Blu-ray before. And then April Fool Day Fool's Day is coming out this month. And they never released that on Blu-ray in the states, I know. I know they think they did it in the UK or something. But, um, that's a must-pick-up, too. But, yeah, that's my review of My Bloody Valentine. Sorry I'm not really going into great detail. I feel like 
you have to watch the movie to understand what I'm talking about. It's just, it's definitely a must watch if you haven't seen it before. If you want to check out the remake, you can. I, am just not a big fan of it. I might piss some people off, but I, to me, it's the original all the way. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below on this video and let me know what you want me to review next. And I'll review, get to reviewing it as soon as possible. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys on Monday.